Primmy. Primrose. Yes. Come here, Primrose. What do you want? Here it is. What? Here it is. Uh-huh. Uh, wait a minute. Look at her. Yeah, look uh -huh. at that hair. Uh-huh. Come in, girls. Have you seen this? No. Have you seen her yet? No, not yet. But Mr. Errol should be leaving for the studio any minute now. Here they come. Bye, sweet. Uh, Ooh, there's a wish I'm late. Leon, you'll be out. From now on, always, sweetie. Well, that marriage certainly wasn't made in heaven. If only there were a little more love like that in the world. Time will tell. <laughs> well, sweetheart, yeah. what would you like for lunch? Well, uh, oh, surprise me. I love <laughs> surprises. Oh, sweet, sweet. Bye, darling. Not bad. Not bad. Come on, Mr. Earl. You're holding us out. Okay, okay. I'll be right along. Boy, this spy picture's driving me dizzy. Playing more characters than a centipede has legs. Gosh, I'll finish up by being shot myself as sure as you live. Oh, well. Here it goes. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, uh, quite all right, Leon. What do I do in this scene? Now, in this scene, you find your long-lost son. Find my long-lost son? Yes. Well, who this gentleman right here. Oh. Mr. Hall, meet Mr. Arrow. How do you do, Mr. Hall? I... Well, you put that back in the water. I think it'll swim. Where do you dig him up? Gosh. You got it? I got it. That's me. Okay. Quiet! Rogue! Action! My son, my son, Basil, old boy! Cut! Perfect. Can I go home now? Uh, go ahead, Leon. I could. Uh, tell Flora I'm always thinking of her. I will, thanks. Huh? Prim. Primmy. Primrose, come here. What? Look. <gasps> oh, not funny, Daddy. <laughs> Cheerio on a bit of a pip pip. You look frightened out this morning, my dear. <laughs> Come on, I'm hungry. Come on. What did I tell you? Maybe that man's a friend of Mr. Arrow's. Well, it looks like he's a friend of Mrs. Arrow's. <clears throat> oh, darling, I am sorry. I burned your lunch. You are, eh? But you're not sorry you just now took me for a dollar and a half playing gin rummy, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, sweet. Bye. I'll be home early. Uh -huh. Well, if you're not man enough to put Mr. Arrow wise, I am. All right. The minute he comes home, I will. All right. Are you ready, Leon? Yeah, sure. Let's make it. Quiet. Roll him. Action. Chin up, Governor. Keep a stiff upper lip. Oh, we'll make a botch of the Bosch. Cheerio. Cut. That does it. I'll go home and give my best to your bride. Thanks. I'll be glad when this picture's over. You'll be glad. Huh. I'll be hysterical. Time will tell. Monty, my dear, not really. Do come in. Well, it's ripping seeing you, old girl. How are you, my lassie? I mean, my colleague. Oh, hang it on. How are you, sweetie? <laughs> I suppose this one is a friend of Mr. Errol's, too. Maybe he is. Well, are you going to do something about it? Well, uh, right away. Stupid. Maybe till tomorrow. Now, Leon, this scene's right up your alley. It is. It's a good one, huh? All you have to do is kiss Mademoiselle Latour. Oh, kiss her, huh? <clears throat> well, my sherry, get ready. Oh. Uh, so, listen. 
Do I have to kiss you? Why, honey boy, you didn't act this way when you kissed me last week. Well, I know, but I... I wasn't married last week. Come on, come on. We don't need a rehearsal for this scene. Let's shoot it. Buy it. Roll them. Action. Sherry. Oh, toujours l'amour, toujours. Sherry. Deluxe coupé. I... How do you do? Cut, cut! I said kiss her. Not shake hands, kiss her. Oh. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Why, no. Why should I kiss her? Why should I kiss her? All right. Quiet. <coughs> Roll them. Action. Sherry. My Sherry. <laughs> Well, now, that's more like it. Yeah, well, I just don't like kissing strange women anymore. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. It's nice work if you can get it. Yeah. Well, what I do for my art. What I do for my art. Now, why don't you quit eating onions? Lunch. Lunch. Back in an hour. Oh, I think it's fine. I'm awfully sorry. My mistake. I... I said... Oh, stick around your own drugstore. <laughs> Dear! Sherry! Oh! Oh! Oh, dear! Where did you learn to kiss like? I just had a rehearsal. On trains, then? Pleasure. Pleasure. Well, I guess I've seen everything now. This is too much. A Frenchman. Something will have to be done. I have decided to speak to her about it. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, no, you haven't. Well, uh, no, I guess I haven't. Let's all go down to the corner and have a beer and forget about it. Well, I usually don't touch the stuff. Problem requires concentration. Concentration? That's a new excuse for a snifter. What a man. Well, I'll go just for the pretzels. <laughs> the noise you. Boom! Biscuits, hmm? Oh, I love biscuits. Mm, mm. Just like Mother used to make. Oh, we Just like, just, just like Mother used to make. <laughs> anything wrong, dear? Wrong, dear? Oh, no, there's nothing wrong, sweetheart. If there's ever anything wrong, Daddy will fix it. Won't you, Daddy? That you like. Who's that? <laughs> oh, you're so clever, Leon. Oh, I love to play once in a while. <laughs> oh, well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's too cold. Still off to work, off to work. Oh, dearest. Yes. Haven't you forgotten something, sweet? What, darling? Aren't you forgetting something? Forgotten something? Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry, darling. Yes, of course. Well, I must go. Off to the studio. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Oh, that's fine. You all right? What are you carrying there? Ballast? What do you mean? Ballast? Oh, that. <laughs> One of my wife's biscuits. Almost like to make. <laughs> Almost. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Arrow. Hello, Mr. Arrow. Oh, hello, hello, neighbors. I'm awfully sorry I'm so busy. <laughs> you don't mind if I... Uh, what do you think of the world situation? A little complicated, isn't it? 
We have a situation existing right in our bungalow court that's complicated. It only became complicated after a while. At first, it was just interesting. That's mild, to say the least. Well, honestly, I don't know what you folks are talking about. But if there's any trouble at all, I'm sure a little intelligence can straighten it out. What would you say, Mr. Errol, if I told you that a certain sincere, hard-working man in our court is being, uh, well, <clears throat> well, uh, hoodwinked by his wife? Oh, now here, Mr. Hendricks, I don't approve rash judgment. But however, time will tell. Time did tell. Why don't you people go home and mind your own business and stop besmirching this little woman's name? If people like you would tend to your own knitting, there'd be fewer marriages go on the rocks. In all probability, the little woman is loans. Loans. But the utter stupidity of her husband bores me, you hear? Bores me. Now you may leave. Please, please go. What a performance. Thank you, madam. I... Huh? Mr. Errol. Huh? And that's not all. My what? Oh, my wife? My wife! Take it away. I'm going home. <laughs> What are we going to do now? Hal, just leave everything to me. I'll see you tonight. I know, but don't you... Skip, I can be a minute. I never thought I'd feel this way again. What way? The way I felt at the Argonne, after I killed my first man. You've got me feeling the same way. Oh, that Casanova, that wife snatcher. Maybe they're visiting somewhere else tonight. Maybe they're on the day shift. They? What do you mean, they? Of course, we only saw three. <laughs> oh, dear. How many extra cells have you got? Eight o'clock. They only struck four. I know, but that clock, when it's eight, it strikes four. When it's four, it strikes eight. Sometimes I get that way, too. Even clocks get mixed up. Kind of sad when you think of it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're all going nuts. I guess you're right. What time must you go back to work? Work? What do you mean work? Oh, you mean the studio? Oh, I don't have to get there at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Yes. Why, it's 8 o'clock now. It just struck 4. It... Oh, yeah, that's right. The clock's got me all mixed up. And I think I may not be here when he arrives. What happens if he comes when I'm gone? Leon, I'm your pal. He'll never get in me. Oh, what a pal, what a pal. Look, take it. Don't take any chances. Give them both balance. What a pal. Kill him. Hello, Bill. Hello, Leon. I see you're working pretty late tonight. Yes, hey. Who's that bike belong to? That's mine. Can I use it? Oh, I certainly help you, sir.
It's me. Huh? Your pal. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, pal. I just found out you were sick. Oh, I ran off. Been out of town? I've been hiding from the cops. Why? Oh, did you, did you get one of those wolves? Did I? I got the Frenchman. Oh, good, good. Frenchman? Yeah. He was wearing a high silk hat, cutaway coat, striped pants, white spats, had a little mustache and a little beard. Mustache and beard? I've seen that guy before. Well, you'll never see him again. I got him with both barrels. Both? Good, good. <laughs> yeah, just as he bent to pick up his bicycle. The same guy who called on your wife before. Me, me. But what about the two Englishmen? Me, me, you. Well, pal. Tell 